Hi everyone. I just released a new version of Mavis, which is 0.0.6, and I just wanted to show you one of the more interesting bits and pieces that I've completed. Before, what you had to do in order to declare types in Mavis was to use the built-in macro, and I've effectively uh, discontinued the use of that. And so here's what you do instead. And I like this better because um, it really kind of looks more like the type specs that you get. So if you import the type macros, I've created a set of macros which correspond to the types that you would expect from a type spec. So for example, integer uh, is just the integer macro. And so we can see uh, that type dot subset or subtype 1 through 10, integer, and everything that you would expect to work would work. And we, I've even implemented a handful of kind of the more weird types like uh, non-empty, or let's see, uh, maybe improper list, or the super long maybe non-empty, maybe improper list. So, uh, so that's so that's pretty cool. Um, you know, we can even do something like uh, type dot subtype uh, non empty maybe maybe improper list, and of course that's false because the empty list is not non empty. Okay. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is one of the places where dialyzer's inference is lacking and it's a place where at least the way that i've architected mavis's inference engine should not be an issue when mavis and selectrix come out um so let's take a quick look at that and to spin that up um i'm going to use a couple of pre-baked functions so let's look at this function, which I'm going to call guarded. And so thank VS Code uh, Elixir LS has been nice enough to show us what the type of this is, what the type, what it thinks the type of, what dialyzer thinks is the type of this function. So let's just take a quick look at this function. Um, uh, it takes this a value, and if it's an atom, then it'll rip return okay foo and if it's an integer it'll return error bar and the problem with the way that dialyzer does its type specking is that it assigns this type to it so let me make this bigger and make it real um it assigns it thinks that the input should be atom uh, or integer and that the output should be error bar or okay foo now at first glance that seems kind of that seems right but what is bad about this is that it loses the coupling between atom and error bar and integer, or rather the other way, atom and okay foo and integer and error bar, right? These things should be coupled. And the cool thing is that you can actually specify that in type specs. And uh, so let me, let me quickly show you how one could do that. And the way you do that is by specifying two specs. Now, I, I, not everybody uses this, so maybe not everybody's aware that you're able to do this in the standard Elixir and Erlang type specking system, but you can specify multiple sort of evaluation paths for different types, right, for, that are type dependent. So in this case, we have a uh, fork spec saying that, hey, if you give me an atom, I'm going to give you okay foo. And if you give me an, an integer, I'm going to definitely give you error bar. That's a correct type spec for this function. It happens to also be a correct type spec of this one. And it's a, I would argue it's a better type spec than this one. Now, you know, what difference does this make? Well, the difference that this makes is when you wind up using these dialyzer specs uh, in another function. So let's write a function that calls this function. So in the first case, let's try and use use guarded, uses guarded, right? And let's quickly run through this code path. 
the guard statement of the of the of the first uh, parameter is required to be an integer. So then we pass it to guarded, which will which will obligately return error bar, right? That cannot match this case statement, so it should crash. However, our dialyzer type spec happily assigns this. The type spec uses guarded, which takes an integer and returns OK. Let's, let's just run this, right? Um, look, and look, uh, it says no case clause matching error bar, and it crashes. So this is. This is this is not a correct type spec for this function. If anything, it should it should say, you know, uh, integer built in none or some indication that it it's just not gonna it's not gonna it's not gonna fly. Um, however, if I instead call fork spec, which has the forking type spec, it immediately identifies that hey, you know, there's something wrong, and it says. This function has no local return, and it says, "Give me anything, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna crash." And so, because we've done a better job of type specking our function up here with independent code paths that depend on the type of the parameters, it's able to analyze this function and immediately tell you that something's gonna go wrong. So that's kind of the interesting thing about Dialyzer. It totally has support for these multiple code or these more multiple type paths for your code but it at the same time doesn't doesn't actually is not capable of inferring inferring it and will give you this nonsense type spec or this incorrect type spec as as what it thinks is going on um, so I'm thinking really hard about these sorts of problems and at least the way that I've architected, Mavis inference, as it stands right now, in fact, uh, it should be able to um, tell you when you've created a grievous typing sin. And it should be able to identify this sort of a spec as the correct spec for, for the function. OK, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this really short presentation on where I stand with Mavis at this moment.